and then just get everybody in the room and oh my gosh, my spotlight here. Yeah. All right. Good afternoon, ladies. Hello. Thanks for joining me. Mom, Good morning. Allowing me to join you. So when you go to the grocery store, used to be no choice, it was paper, right? Well, some of you may. <laughs> Remember that once upon a time it was just paper. <laughs> Um, but about 30 years ago, the plastic bag was introduced to the market, and it was an easy and more cost-friendly product for our retailers to use. Now, when you go to the grocery store now, your choice is paper, plastic, or pockets, or neither. <laughs> um, you know, I know, I did not see any big celebration for the 30 years of the introduction of plastic bags to the grocery store. A lot of that is because so much has been said now, you know, about the environment, what we're trying to do, and go green and, and uh, become um, just a more eco-friendly society. Um, some interesting facts about um, plastic bags are that in America alone, it's an astounding 300 million people use plastic bags. And over 90 billion bags are used just in the United States. So if you figure that out, 90 billion by 300 million Americans, 300 plastic bags a year per person, to the tune of 1.2 billion dollars a year to manufacture them. Now, this costs the retailer one cent. However, it will cost $4,000 to recycle a ton of bags, a ton of plastic bags, which this is not very heavy, but you've got to realize even at that, it's just not a whole lot of bags. The cost that you receive from spending that $4,000 to recycle, $32. Not a business model I want to be in. So it's not effective for us to recycle plastic bags. Paper bag, more costly, but biodegradable. Plastic bag, non-biodegradable. The plastic bag that my first pair of baby shoes came in is still out somewhere in a landfill or in a lake or somewhere. And it's never going to go away. This is an option. This costs one cent for the retailer. This costs five and a half cents for a retailer. Okay, now they don't charge, for us, they don't say, oh, well, we're going to charge you more because you're using paper. But what they do say is, we'll take five cents off for every single one of these you use. And this costs 99 cents. So now you have. 99 cents times however many times you're using it, you're taking away from that 90 billion bags that are being used. The other, of course, people say, but they're only one cent. That's all they cost is one cent. It's not a big deal. And I recycle them. I do. I do. I reuse them. I take my lunch one time to work, and then that's it. You know, so I reused it once, but it still doesn't change the fact that what it costs to dispose of them is not something anybody's willing to do. So they're never going to go away. They're going to be here forever. These bags are biodegradable. These bags are biodegradable. These will not fill up the landfill. Or these, but these will. These still will fill up the landfill, but at least they're biodegradable. But lots of people who are obviously probably working with the plastic bag manufacturers say, you can't use these. What if your meat like leaks and then you don't wash it and you take it to the grocery store? There's going to be cross-contamination. Really? That's your best argument? <laughs> I'm pretty sure <laughs> if my hamburger meat, you know, leaks, I'm taking this home and I'm going to wash it. And I can wash this. I can't wash these. I can't reuse these the way that I can use one, reuse one of these bags. There's an interesting... Um, tax and 
an interesting story that happened in 2007 in Ireland. They are a green country, so <laughs> at least their favorite color, right? Um, but they decided that they, overnight, no more plastic bags. They're bad for the environment. We cannot get rid of them. We cannot afford to recycle them because it's too costly. And they're made with foreign oil. That's something we really here in the States could definitely get away from. It was 12, what was it, 12 billion barrels of oil to produce 100,000 bags. Or 100, sorry, 100 million bags. 100 million bags. But still, if we're using 100 million and it's 12 billion gallons of oil, foreign oil, it's keeping us completely dependent. Um, so Ireland decided they want to do something about it. They used much less. They only used a couple of billion. <laughs> um, overnight, they decided that's it. No more plastic bags. Retailers would pull them from the shelves. And um, if you wanted to use one, you got charged 15 cents for every single bag that you used at the retailer. In one year, they raised $9.6 million in revenue. And that was only 10% of the bags. 90% were recycled bags. It's only 10%. Think about it. In this country, you know only half of us are going to actually switch to the bags. If we institute a, a, a tax like that, could you imagine the revenue that we would be able to generate? And that revenue could be used for a lot of very well, meaningful things in, uh, in our government. But you have debate to that as well. So yeah, that's great that they reduced their consumption in Ireland by 90% by introducing the class tax. They also increased the sale of what they call bin liners, trash bags that we use, by 400%. Uh -huh. However, again, you're using, if you're using individual smaller bags at a much greater amount, it is still better for the economy, better for every single one of us, better for us to reduce our dependence on foreign oil, and better for our government to be able to raise the funds that are necessary to fix things like Medicare and Medicaid and all of those other political uh, you know, agendas that are out there that really do need to be fixed. So, in the end, you can go into your retailer and make a choice, paper or plastic, or as Walmart came up with in 2007, neither. So, choice is yours. <laughs>